Before starting a liturgy, the deacons prepare their service vestments. They should receive the permission and absolution from Abuna before they put on their vestments. They all dress in white, like the angels, serving and praising the Lord during the liturgy. Abuna prepares the altar with the altar cloths to welcome the born baby Jesus. Abuna and the congregation pray the Agbia prayers. Abuna washes his hands three times, asking for the forgiveness of his sins before offering the lamp. Abuna chooses from the offered bread, one without blemish to be the lamp. Abuna takes some wine and touches the bread. He wraps the lamb with a corporal, like the baby Jesus in swaddling clothes. Abuna carries the lamb by his head, like Simeon the elder when he carried the baby Jesus. He prays the thanksgiving prayer, while pouring the wine and adding some water. This represents the blood and water that came from Jesus' side. Abuna covers the altar with the prosphyry. This symbolizes the stone over the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives the absolution to everyone, including the other priests, the deacons, all of the congregation, and himself, from the mouths of the Holy Trinity, the Church, and our Father the Patriarch. Abuna puts incense in a censer during the reading of the Pauline Epistle. The incense carries our prayers and the prayers of the saints before the Lord's throne. During the Pauline Epistle, Abuna goes among the congregation. This reminds us, with the journeys of St. Paul, Abuna carries people's confession to offer them on the altar. The deacons read the Pauline Epistle, followed by the Catholic Epistles, which are the Epistles of St. James, St. Peter, St. John, and St. Jude. Then, they read the Acts of the Apostles. Abuna read the Synexium, which tells the stories of the saints of that day. He prays the litany of the Gospel, so that our hearts may be opened to listen to the Word of God. The deacon starts reading verses from the Psalms followed by the Gospel. The Psalms carry many prophecies of our Lord Jesus Christ. Two deacons, one standing on each side of the lectern, hold lighted candles, as the Word of God is the light of the world. Abuna prays the three litanies, the litany of the peace of the Church, of the Fathers, and of the Congregation. While the whole congregation recites the Orthodox Creed, Abuna washes his hands three times, this is to tell that everyone is responsible for his own faith. Before the prayer of reconciliation, Abuna pours himself before the altar, asking for God's forgiveness, and asks for everybody's forgiveness as well. Forgive me, my brother and sister, for I'm a sinner. Sleep. Abuna starts the liturgy by the prayer of the reconciliation. The reconciliation happened with God, as our Lord Jesus Christ brought us to his Father in heaven. Also it is reconciliation between each other, through the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with a heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward man. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostles.
Abuna raises the folded corporal, which symbolizes the seal on our Lord's tomb. On the opposite side, the deacon raises a cross, to announce that the reconciliation happened, through the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And make us all worth your master, to greet one another with the holy kid, that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus. Abuna asks God to fill our hearts with the peace he brought. Our Lord, greet one another with a whole. The priests, the deacons, and the people may now exchange their greetings of love and peace between each other. Abuna puts down the folded corporal. Then both the priest and the deacon remove the cross fury, uncovering the altar, in reference to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and announcing the reconciliation with God. the corporals, and with a cross, he makes the sign of the cross on the congregation, reminding them that the Lord is with them. He asks them to raise their hearts to the Lord. Then he thanks the Lord for being with us. Abuna praises the Lord, like the angels saying, Meet and right. O oh, you who are Master, Lord God of truth, being before the age and reigning forever, who dwell in the highs and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that in there. The Father of our Lord God. Abuna describes the Lord in his glory, and how awesome he is in his glory, where he is worshipped by all the heavenly powers and ranks. Who sits upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. Stand before, oh, stand the angel, the archangels, the principality, the authority, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. And look toward the east. The cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings 
spreading continuously without ceasing. Say, let us attend. Abuna transfers the corporals between his hands and the altar. Transferring of the corporals refers to the movement of the cherubim and seraphim who continuously glorify God. Abuna makes the sign of the cross three times, on himself, on the deacons, and on the congregation, while praising God with the angels saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. This is to say up to the Lord, You are the Most Holy One, sanctify us, we are the sinners. Abuna tells us the story of our salvation, and how the Lord humbled himself and came down to save us. When we disobeyed your commandment by the guile of the serpent, we have fell from eternal life, and we are exiled from the bird of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but it have always visited us through your holy prophets, and in the last days you did manifest yourself to us, who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Virgin, Saint Mary. What incarnate and became man and chose the deacon brings the censer that refers to Saint Mary to the priest. Abuna puts incense in it while saying. He was incarnate. Putting the incense in the censer reminds us with the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ from Saint Mary. He loved his own word and our and gave himself up for our salvation unto death, which reigned over us. Abuna tells us how our Lord Jesus Christ loved us to the end. He died for us to save us from our sins. To hate through the cross. Amen. I did He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens. And said at your right hand, O Father, he had appointed a day for recompense, in which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness, and give each one according to his deeds. The deacon brings the censer to the priest, who senses his hands three times, to be ready to hold the holy sacraments. With his hands, 
he senses over the holy bread, then over the chalice. This reminds us, with the spices, which were laid on Jesus' body for his burial. Into his holly, spotless and blemished, blessed and life giving hands. We believe that this is true. The priest lays his right index on the bread. He makes the sign of the cross three times with his finger. Each time the congregation responds saying, Amen. his thumb, the priest breaks the bread into two pieces, two-thirds on the left, and one-third on the right, without separating or breaking the despoticon, which is the central part of the bread. Take, eat of it all of you, for this is my body, which shall be broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of the sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is true. The priest uncovers the chalice. He makes the sign of the cross three times with his finger. Each time the congregation responds saying, Amen. Wine and water when he had given thanks. He blessed it. And he sanctified it. And gave it also to his own holy disciples. And a boon moves the chalice in the form of the cross. Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of the sins. Do recites what the Lord said to his disciples, Do this, in remembrance of me. The remembrance does not mean commemoration. It means, we undergo the same holy event, and this is the true body, and the true blood, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave it to his disciples, during the Last Supper. It is the same body of our Christ on the cross, and it is the same body of his resurrection. It is the same body of his ascension into the heaven and the same body of our Lord Christ, who is sitting on the right hand of his Father in heaven.
holy passion, in resurrection from the dead. He that sentence into the heavens, and is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming, which shall be from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your oblations from what is yours for every condition, concerning every condition and in every condition. Worship God in peace. The deacon proclaims with a loud voice, Worship God in fear and trembling. This is to prepare us for the most holy moment. That is the invocation of the Holy Spirit, to change the bread, into the true body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine, into the true blood of His. Let us attend. And His bread He makes into His holy body. Also into the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe of Abu Nib proclaims that this is given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who shall partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now the bread did become the holy body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine is his honor, blood. From this moment, the priest will not make the sign of the cross upon them by his hand. The signing of both of them shall be through them. Also, the priest will not leave the altar until the end of the holy liturgy. The priest will pray the seven short litanies or prayers. They are the prayer of the peace of the church to keep the church in peace. An apostolic word to the church. Lord have mercy. This which you have acquired unto yourself with the precious blood of your Christ. Keep the prayer of the fathers of the church to keep the Pope and the bishops. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Irish Bishop, our Patriarch Abba Shenouda the Third. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly define the word of truth with him grant. The prayer of the priests and deacons to pastor the flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemon's priest and deacon. Lord, have mercy. And all the ministers, all who are in virginity. The prayer of the servants, the Lord may have mercy on us all. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Panto Karatur. Remember, O Lord, the safety of this holy place, which is yours. The prayer of the place for the salvation of the whole world. Fathers. Lord have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's faith, gracious the upward, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the water of the rivers, the prayer of the plants and water, to bless all our life. According to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows and abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvest. Manage our life as deemed fit. Let the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, 
and for the sake of our soul, who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O oh, you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Remember, O Lord, those have brought unto you this gift. And finally, the prayer of the oblations, that is the offerings of the liturgy in the church. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifice, and those who have borne. Oh, them. Lord, have mercy. And this, O oh Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son. That we Abuna will pray the commemoration of the saints. We mention them as they conquered the whole world, awaiting and helping us to join them in the heaven and they are attending the Holy Liturgy with us. We ask their prayers and intercessions. Our Holy Father, the Patriarchs, the Prophets, the Apostles, the Preachers, the Evangelists, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the spirits of the rights who consummated in the faith most of all, the pure, Full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theodorus, Saint Mary, who in truth give birth to God, the Lord, Saint John, the Baptist and Martyr. Saint Stephen, the archdeacon, the proto-martyr, the beholder of God, Saint Mark, the evangelist, the apostle and martyr, the patriarchs and saviors, our teacher, the scores, the Athanasius, the apostolic, then Peter, the proist, martyr, and the high priest, Saint John, Christum, then Theodosius, then Theophilus, then Demetrius, then Cyril, then Basil, then Gregory the Theologian, then Gregory the Wonder Worker, then Gregory the Honor Making, then the 318 Assembly, the Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous Father, the Great Abantini. The righteous Abba Paul and the three sin Abba Mary and all their children that cross and bear in earth. Our father Abba John the Hegelman, our father Abba Pishui, the righteous perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father Abba Paul of Jambu. And in the gill is this people, my master, the Romans' fathers, St. Maximus and Medius, and the forty-nine murder the elders of Shee, the strong sin of Moses, John Cam, the priest, our father of Daniel Begumon, our father of the door, the priest, our father of Abacum, of the Canadian Theodore is the son of a people. Our father of a Shinoda, the Archimon Bride, and of a Wisa is the son of a people. And all the choir of your saints, 
through whose prayer and supplications have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is the call of all. Let those who read recite the name of our holy fathers, the patriarch who have fallen asleep. Abuna raises the incense in the center. All congregation ask for the holy blessings of all the saints so that the Lord may have mercy upon us all. the departed ones who went into the heaven and waiting for us to join them. Lord to guide us into his kingdom, so we may follow all the saints to the eternal life. Glorified, blessed, and exalted everything, honored and blessed together with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. Abuna bows and moves little to the side as giving the pieces from our Lord Jesus Christ, whose body and blood are on the altar. Let us give a thanks unto God the Pentecostal, the Father. Abuna gives thanks to the Lord on our behalf, as he allowed us to stand up in his holy church. He asks the Lord to make us worthy of the communion. up in this holy place to lift up our hands and to serve is a holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. Abuna places the holy body 
on the palm of his left hand. He touches the holy body, with his right index finger near the Dispatakon, and says with fear, We worship your holy body. Abuna dips his right index finger in the precious blood, and makes the sign of the cross inside the chalice. Abuna makes the sign of the cross on the holy body with the precious blood. This is in reference to the honored blood that flew from the body of our Lord Jesus Christ during his crucifixion. Abuna begins to break the holy body, while he is saying the fraction prayer. During the fraction prayer, Abuna meditates on the salvation and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. With a whole their heart, who has given to us redemption from sin through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the life of everyone, the help of those who flee to him, the hope of the Lord. The deacons hold lit candles as the priest breaks the body of Christ to be given to the faithful people. Breaking the body of our Savior refers to the sufferings of our Lord. <laughs> Congregation ask the Lord and say, Kiri Lyson, Lord have mercy, after each prayer. This is to offer our repentance and ask Him for the forgiveness of our sins before partaking of the communion. and all the innumerable hosts of the heavenly powers, O God. Oh, has sanctified these gifts, which are set forth through the coming down upon them of your Holy Spirit. You have purified them. Purify us, O our Master, from our sins, the hidden and manifest, and every thought which is not leading to your goodness, God, you feel an anthropic one, may it be far from us. Abuna asks the Lord to purify us and prepare us to be worthy of the partaking of the holy and true body of our Lord Jesus Christ. bodies, our spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart, an enlightened soul, and an ashamed face, a faith and faith, a perfect love, and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father of God in heaven, and say, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
prays a submission prayer to God the Father, while everybody is worshipping the Lord, submitting our life to Him. Abuna mentions everyone who is in need of prayers. Let us attend in the fear of God. Amen. Abuna prays the three Lebanese of the peace of the church, of the fathers, and of the congregation. Remember, O oh Lord, our congregations, bless them, save the mean, and with your spirit, in the fear of Abuna separates the Dispadukon, that is the heart of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, to immerse it in the blood of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the sanctification of the Holy Spirit. Zabuna proclaims that this is the precious body and true blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The congregation say, Amen, after each time. Of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. puts the discipline in the blood and says the last confession. And the blood of Emmanuel, our God, makes it in truth. Abuna raises the patent with the body to say the confession. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe. And confess to the last breath. He tells us again the story of our salvation. 
that your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, took from Our Lady, the Lady of our soul, the Holy Theodokos and Mary. He made it one with His divinity, without mingling, without confusion, and without alteration. He witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye given for us for salvation, remission of the sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. The deacon faces the priest, holding a folded corporal with a cross, and a lighted candle. The deacon says the confession, Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true, Amen. Concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing, Alleluia. Pray for the worthy communion of the Immaculate, heavenly and holy mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Abuna gives the communion to the deacons first, then to the congregation. Everybody praises the Lord during the communion, and glory be to God forever. Amen.